robots just leveled up big time. Bossa Dynamics gave Atlas a massive brain upgrade and now it can take a hit mid-task and keep working like nothing happened. Unitree is teasing a full-size biped for just a few thousand dollars. Yes, thousands, not tens of thousands. And Figures Robot? It walks blind, folds towels, and does not break a sweat. Meanwhile, Taiwan's Tech Man and Florida's Boardwalk are turning humanoids into real factory workers. So let's break it down. Atlas just sent the clearest signal yet. Embodied AI is done with choreographed stunts. It is moving into real unified control. In Boston Dynamics and TRI's new demo, Atlas is not just strutting or flipping, it is working. A full packing and sorting run, start to finish, balanced steps, deep crouches, clean lifts, shifting boxes while the whole scene keeps changing under its feet. Then the stress test hits. A researcher jabs in with a hockey stick, slides the box away, even slaps the lid shut. Atlas does not blink, no reset, no retune. It pops the lid back open and stays on task, like the interruption was just another part of the job. The secret is the large behavior model, an LBM. This is not a script library and not a mess of separate leg and arm controllers stitched together. It is one neural policy running the whole body, treating hands and feet almost the same, and learning full body skills straight from demonstrations. That changes everything because the real world is not split into neat modules. The real world is whole body work, momentum, foot placement, and hand contact all tied together in one fluid move. The team is blunt about why this matters. Train one big network on long horizon tasks and it starts to generalize across whole families of motion. Want a new skill? Show it, do not code it. That has been Tri's thesis since the partnership with Boston Dynamics started back in October, 2024. It is not just branding. Large language models mastered text. Large behavior models are going after physics itself, predicting actions and executing against messy, unpredictable environments. You can see the same push everywhere. NVIDIA's Isaac Groot for embodied learning, Field AI's foundation models, but Atlas makes it concrete under pressure. The plan stays alive even while humans poke at it mid-run. Under the hood, the shift is just as big. Old robot stacks split locomotion and manipulation. One controller kept you upright, another moved the arms. Then, try to stitch them together. It worked, but only until the robot had to get creative. Brace with a foot, pivot a box against your shin, step while twisting a lid. A unified LBM collapses those seams. It is not perfect, but it unlocks the opportunistic, fluid strategies humans use every second without thinking. That is the path to general purpose utility, and Atlas, with its reach, dexterity, and raw force, is still the best testbed to make those strategies real. Meanwhile, Unitree is loading its next strike, this time on the hardware front. The teaser is just a silhouette, but the signal is deafening. A full-height humanoid around 1.8 meters tall, with 31 degrees of freedom, posed not like a sprinter, but like a ballet dancer. And that pose is not a coincidence. It screams a new priority, shifting from raw speed to agility and lifelike control. Compared to today's H-Series, you can already see the hints. More human-like exterior, denser joint map, exactly what you need for expressive upper body gestures and precise foot placement. The H1 is still their athletic flagship, 47 kilograms, starting near $90,000. It has done it all, prime time dance routines on China's Spring Festival Gala, then 11 medals at the first World Humanoid Robot Games in Beijing, four of them gold. But Unitree's real game is taking those headline wins and pushing them down the stack until normal people can buy in. That is how they shocked the field with the G1 in May 2024 at $16,000. Then, a year later, the R1 dropped just above $5,000. Not a toy a real biped platform at a price point that forces everyone else to rethink what entry level even means. The tempo is no mystery. China set an explicit national target. mass produced humanoids by 2025, own the global market by 2027. That is why Unitree moves fast on both ends. Bleeding Edge H series for prestige, affordable R series for mass adoption. And that ballet pose silhouette is not just style. If robots are going into homes, hospitals, and shops, not just lab floors, grace matters as much as speed.
31 joints buys you articulated wrists for folding, a flexible torso for reach, and ankle finesse for awkward surfaces. If Unitree nails the hardware while keeping software open for developers, they end up with one platform that flips between viral dance clips and real jobs without changing its DNA. On the software side, Figure is making its own pivot stick. Their reinforcement learning controller Helix now walks like someone who trusts their footing. In the latest stress test, they literally cut the cameras and sent the robot blind over curbs, brush, pallets, and wobbly planks. The toe catches, it stumbles, it recovers, and it keeps moving. Unstoppable might be hype, but the calmness under trip hazards looks close to superhuman. When it is time to use the hands, Helix flips modes. In a towel folding test, a generalist vision language action model takes a voice cue, parses the scene, and coordinates wrists, fingers, torso, and head to pick, smooth, and fold. The folds are not perfect. The breakthrough is the loop, perception, language, and control adapting together. No babysitting required. Under the hood, it is a two-system brain. System 2 is a slower vision language model that understands the task. System 1 is a fast visual motor policy that streams continuous commands. Together they run on embedded low power GPUs with one set of weights across everything from picking and placing to opening drawers, fridges, even two robots working together. That is how you break out of one-off demo land and head toward actual home or retail workflows without a giant engineering team on standby. But here is the truth. Not every useful humanoid needs legs. Boardwalk's Alex proves it. A humanoid upper torso on a stable base with in-house actuators, 19 degrees of freedom, and a 10 kilogram payload. Next up, faster swap grippers. So one machine can jump from sanding to inspection to fastening without ever pausing. The bet is simple. Legs win headlines, arms win contracts. A torso moves faster, works closer to people, and keeps a tight safety bubble Perfect for manufacturing, logistics, and food processing, where the ROI lives in dexterity, not parkour. And the pedigree is serious. IHMC's Atlas work, Valkyrie, Nadia. Alex is already in Aviation Pilots. This is a product, not a lab toy. Available to researchers right now with a service model on the way. And when mobility is worth adding, IHMC's locomotion stack is waiting. Start with arms, integrate, earn trust, Add legs only if the job truly demands it. Finally, Taiwan's tech man just raised its flag with a humanoid for smart factories. TM Explore 1 rolls in on a wheeled base, packing more than 22 joints and quick swap end effectors. Under the hood, NVIDIA Jetson Orin for onboard inference, Isaac Groot for embodied learning, Techman's own vision stack to tie it all together. In the demo, a shunk precision gripper plus inspection cameras close the loop on real high mix, low volume work. Pick, orient, verify, place, repeat, all inside actual station cycle times. The real advantage? Scale. Techman sits inside Quanta, the supplier behind Apple, Meta, Tesla. Motors, sensors, batteries are not a bottleneck here. The rollout plan is simple. Stress test in their own plants then ship to customers and ramp in the back half of 2026. Pricing is not public, but their cobots usually hit twenty dollars to $30,000, which shows where they are aiming. The target is lights out operations, automating the last human precision stations with humanoids built to handle day-to-day -day variants. And the race is already crowded. Shenzhen Dobot is mass producing Atom. Universal Robot still leads cobots. Foxconn is reportedly building its own NVIDIA-powered humanoid, Taiwan wants a stake, and Techman just claimed its ground. That is the update. Do not miss what comes next. Hit subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.